In this video, I am going to solve again an interesting example using the congruence theory. In my earlier few videos, uh, I have also taken some of the very interesting examples uh, where we have involved the large exponent using the congruence theory. So now let's consider here a similar type of the problem uh, we used to solve using the mathematical inductions. But now here I want to use the congruence theory. So let us see, we want to prove 7 divide 5 to the power 2 n plus 3 into 2 to the power 5 n minus 2 and n is greater than or equal to 1. So to start the solution of this problem, I need to go back to the sum of the basic properties of the congruences and just observe that 5 square is 25, 25 is congruent to 4 modulo 7. So here we got 5 to the power 2 times n, this is congruent to modulo 7. What I have used here is that if a is congruent to b modulo n, so first we have shown that 5 square is congruent to 4, a is congruent to b and then raise the power. We can raise the power to uh, any positive integer and where k can be any positive value. So this is holding us. So just label this d as 1 and also notice that 2 to the power 5, this is 32. 32 is congruent to 4 modulo 7 because 32 minus 4 is 28 and so it will be divisible by 7. So now we can have 2 to the power 5 into n. This is congruent to 4 to the power n modulo 7. So we got this as the second congruence. Now we want to prove that 7 divide 5 to the power 2n plus 3 into 2 to the power 5n minus 2. Or in terms of the congresses, I could have written 5 to the power 2n plus 3 into 2 to the power 5n minus 2 is congruent to 0 modulo 7. This is what we wanted to prove actually. Okay. So let's just call this as like this. So this is holding if and only if I, if I just multiply by a constant quantity on both sides. So if I say that a is congruent to 0 modulo n and if I multiply by a constant c on both sides, then also this is c into 0, it will remain 0. Okay. So this from this quantity, what I can say, uh, multiplying 2 to the power 2 on both sides, this will become 5 to the power 2n plus 3 into 2 to the power 5n minus 2 is congruent to 0 modulo 7. And here because, and this is possible uh, if and only if, because I'm also using the cancellation law. And here the cancellation is possible whenever the GCD of C and N is equal to 1. So in our case, this is possible because we are multiplying it by 4, that 2 square is 4. And here we got a number 7. So noticing that the GCD of 4 and 7 is equal to 1, I can go back to the previous step. Cancellation would not have been holding directly if this GCD is not equal to 1. So remember this step. Uh, and so now this will become 5 to the power 2n into 4 and then you got 3 into 2 to the power 5n which is congruent to 0 modulo 7. Now I am going to use my congruence 1 and 2. So as we can see that 1 5 raised to power 2n is 4 to the power n. So we will just replace this as 4 to the power n and then we got one more 4 here plus 3 into this 2 to the power 5n is 4 to the power n. So just replace this as 4 to the power n. This is congruent to 0 modulo 7. All is going to be with respect to uh, modulo 7. Take out 4 to the power n. Inside we rem remain with 4 plus 3 which is congruent to 0 modulo 7. And so we got 4 to the power n into 7 congruent to 0 modulo 7 which is possible. So all this is going in if and only if and this I wanted to prove this is holding if and only if because these are just rewritten step. Now since this left hand side is appearing as a multiple of 7 so this proves my result which proves result because it is appearing as the uh, multiple of 7 so definitely this left hand side is divisible by 7 since left hand side is divisible by 7 so that means my this quantity or I can say this quantity is divisible by 7 hence it is proved